How did you sum that up, Justin? Um, disappointing. You know, I thought uh, I thought it was a great game of rugby league. I really did. I thought, look, yeah, we threw everything at him in that second half. For that first 20 minutes, we, we threw everything at him and, and couldn't get out of the line. And then uh, in the end, we made a few errors, but we're chasing a game in 30 degree heat. It's very hard to to be, you know, chasing points late in a, a game that everybody's run off their feet. So, yeah, extremely proud of our effort. And, couldn't fold anything from our end and got to give Warrington all the credit in the world of how, how well they played today. How key was that Morgan Nell's decision right at the beginning, do you think? Oh, it was massive. Now we're talking about a, a Challenge Cup final. Big games, getting your nose in front on a hot day and it's a different game. T -t you'd be filthy if that was just a regular round Super League um, game, you know, and, and, and to not check that. And, and then to give them six again when they, you know, <laughs> come off them and then three tackles later they score. It makes it hard work and um, yeah, I'm not trying to blame that on the game but it, it, it does go differently and that's nothing away from Warrington. You know, they don't play a part in those things and, and I'm going to sound like sour grapes to a lot of people but I just can't get my head around uh, not checking a call like that in a final. You know, we, we both teams give it absolutely everything and for us to be talking about something like that, which we shouldn't be, um, but I, I'm, yeah, can't get my head around. Awful. Did you sense some frustration from your players? No, nah, you not at all. No, I thought we, we tried so hard. You know, and you, as I said, you make errors through fatigue late in the game, and um, <coughs> when you're chasing points, it's it's hard work. You know, as I said, I thought Warrington played an unbelievable game. You know, for me, watching that game, that was rugby league at its best. It was just end to end, no one giving an inch, and as I said, they, they got themselves in front. and. We were chasing them down and um, you know, come close a couple of times, couldn't get over the line and absolute credit to them. And a, a great game uh, showcased uh, by two teams of the, for rugby league today. Yeah, when Tio scored in the, the second half, it was, it was an impressive set, a couple of sets from you guys. Do you think you could almost turn, turn it around then? Yeah, yeah, I was really confident at that stage. Um, you know, as I said, I thought yeah, we, we made some great inroads and they kept scrambling. Uh, that's an outstanding job. We, you know, we, we couldn't quite get out of the line and um, as I said, we, we, we threw everything at them. You know, I'm, I'm not uh, well, I'm disappointed in losing, but not the way we played. I thought you know, every, every one of our boys threw everything into it. And as a coach, that's, that's what you ask the most and I'm really proud of our effort and, and full of praise for, for Warrington. Will that set you back? For the rest of the season, do you think that'd be a big blow to get over? Oh, it's a big blow now, that's for sure. There's no denying that. Um, but you know, the beauty about it is, is there's only three rounds left in the regular season, and then we're in the finals time. So that's that's a positive for us. We don't have to, you know, we've got ten rounds to go or anything like that. So um, yeah, that's that's a good focus for us. I think Lockton suffered a bit from not playing for the last five or six weeks. Yeah, I think a number of boys did, but as I said, it's. Um, a uh, tough day for, for anybody chasing points late in the game and um, yeah, I think uh, with, with the heat as long as it was, if you, if you get in front, um, you probably play differently, but um, we can't fault them all. We had, to, we had to keep trying, we had to come up with plays in there, we, we lost a few balls around fatigue, but um, it's a different mentality when you're thinking, how yeah, can I come up with something, um, instead of just hang on there. So, different game that we had to play, we were chasing, but Warrington, um, unbelievable. Just that play. Justin, did you prepare for this game on the basis that Blake Austin would play, or, or that he wouldn't, or were you just not sure either way? And did, did that affect your preparation, that uncertainty about him? No, not at all. No, look, I, I thought he wouldn't play, but um, we did some work on the week as if he would, and, and the beauty on that, we, we played him a couple of times this year when he had played, so... Um, I might sound silly, but I, I knew they'd be more dangerous in the end knowing he wouldn't play. I thought they'd simplify their game and, and kick well, and geez, they did a good job of that. So, um, yeah, you know, a real, uh, real gutsy win from them. Was there a particular point or stage in the game where you, you said to yourself, this is just not going to be out there? Yeah, probably two minutes to go, and we knew we had to score three tries. Um, look, I, I was backing ourselves, you know, as I said, I thought, I thought we kept coming at them and, and trying hard, but. Um, it's extremely warm and, and you're pushing past it and you know, you're not ready. Um, yeah, got away from us in the end. Does that make it more difficult or easier to motivate yourself? When it comes oh, it's got to be easy. It's got to be easier. Yeah, without doubt. It's going to be hard um, to, to get them up short term, but you know, if you're good enough to win today, it'll be hard to, 
to get them now. So, um, look, either way, uh, we've, we've got to get on with it. Uh, we know that as a group, and I'm sure we will. I'll lose you another big game, but I'm going to see some of players all along here. Oh, it should do. You know, it hurts myself, it hurts the players, it hurts everybody. So, um, you know, no, one, uh, no one wants to lose a final, that's for sure. And, and it should hurt if it doesn't hurt. But we're in the wrong you know, environment, aren't we? We're in a sporting environment that you, that you, you want to win, and uh, we weren't good enough today. Even things like the misconversion goes the ball a little bit because you know that defence is just a bit of a fight and it's a goal so you can see the English fight with it. Uh, yeah, obviously it would have been great to kick it, but I, I still thought, you know, we, we had this, you know, to, to, to win we had to score two more tries and I was still okay with that. I thought, you know, well, we're, we're going to be good enough to come home here, um, but, but we weren't, so um, yeah, incredible.